Hi, we got a little short demo here on something that spurred me to investigate something. On the Adobe Dimensions Enthusiast uh, Facebook page, there was a question here from Gail Haslar, and it says, Hello everyone, does anyone know how I can change only a specific area of a decal to metal material? Thank you. And down below here, Jeanette Matthews from Adobe got on here. She said, you can add mass to decals, copy the artwork, and use black, white, black, non-metal areas, white, metallic areas, and then load the image into the metallic property of the decal. So what I did is this. I'm not sure it's right. Um, let's take a look at what I tried to do. I have up in dimension here just a yeah a cube that I shrunk down just to have one face and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply a decal to the front of it here. Come on get my magic wand and I'm going to double click here and get a hold of that surface. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to apply a metallic texture to this. So uh, let's see here. Let's come down to... I used uh, a bunch of them, but rainbow anodized metal. So we'll load that up on there. And the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to double click on the cube object. It comes up with the rainbow anodized metal material right here. I'm going to click on that once. And what I do next is Jeanette said load the black and white image into the metallic um, property area here. Well, I never thought about this, so I clicked on here, and so now I can load an image into here. So what I did is I will load an image, and I have an image here that I downloaded from my free pics account. It's called Free Spirit, and it's just a logo that I brought up that somebody did in black and white because I thought that'd be pretty easy. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save this view as home. I've already done that, it looks like. And I'm going to switch it over to front view by Alt 2 or Option 2. And now I'm going to change the offset to make this fit on the front of this cube. And I've done this a couple times, so I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can put the same dimensions in I did a little while ago, about 62. And I brought this down, let's see here. And let me move it across here. Looks like I need to uh, bring the repeat up about to three. That's pretty close. And then we'll move this back over a little bit and up a little bit. Okay, so that gives you some idea that it's fitting on my cube there. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'll switch over to my selection tool. So now if I take the number one and do the orbit tool, I can see that the metallic material is primarily coming through where the white is at. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come over here on my metallic. I'm going to click on my little loaded image here. The metallic is coming through on the white, just like Jeanette said it would and black is blocking the metallic. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this image and I'm going to click the pencil and go into edit mode. That's gonna load it over here into Photoshop, which I have running right now. And um, I'm gonna hide this over here. Back in Photoshop, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do some destructive commands to this. I'm gonna do an invert. I'm going to do Command or Control I to invert it. And then I'm going to save it and it will update that back in the metallic properties area. So I'm going to save it. And you'll see Dimension automatically update. So now what we have is the white areas are actually getting the metallic material and the black are not. So let's look here. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to make sure I'm on preview for my materials. I'm going to hit one and orbit a little bit. So now it appears that the black area is being blocked and the metallic is coming through 
There you go. So, depending on how your lighting situation is, how you're going to make this more obvious or not. I actually went in here trying to figure out a way and I added a sunlight to this and then I adjusted its height and rotation and different things. But I just want you to know that the area that you load this black and white image into is the metallic thumbnail here, I'll call it, of the actual metal. Now here's one thing I found and I can't vouch for this being true. These are the MDL materials I just used to put that rainbow anodized material on there. Okay? Let me close this out of Photoshop here so you don't get distracted. I'm going to come down to the materials that are substance materials. Now these are SBSAR materials so they have more options. So when I came down in here I picked a metallic feature we'll say scratched copper and I'm going to drag it up and replace my rain rainbow metal with that. It's just going to go completely blank because we don't have in the metal property our graphic that we're kind of loading as a mask. But the problem I ran into is I didn't see any place here where to bring in that metal icon to load this free spirit image. Now here's a, something I haven't tried. I don't know, can I click on color here? I've never done this before, no. Let's see what this says up here. No, I can't add it there. I tried to look around in here to find where I could load into the metal area that but I couldn't find anything in the SBSAR materials where I had that location where I could bring in that image now somebody's smarter than I am and they're gonna figure this out but for right now I don't know how to do that so what I'll do is I'm gonna go back just to regular MDL material up here uh, I'm gonna pick uh, let's say brass I'm going to replace my scratch copper and again all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here where it says metallic and I'm going to click here I'm going to find my black and white image it's going to act like a mask to block and reveal the metallic I'm going to select the file I'm going to find the file I'm going to load it in here I'm going to then what I'm going to do is I can click off of this and take a look of it and then I'm just still going to put in my same offsets and repeats I did before so again on this particular image it was about a 3 3.2 repeat and then I went to a minus 62 percent offset on X about and then on Y I ran it up till it was kind of centered within there looks like I need to move it over a little bit more but again it's acting like a mask and so only certain areas of the metallic are coming through on this particular image and when I click on the metallic we'll say icon here again the black is blocking the material uh, the metallic material and whites letting it reveal through if I want to switch this I can go ahead and click on the pencil load this into Photoshop I can uh, perform an invert command, command or control I. That will invert it. I'll save. So now the black areas are again are blocking, are blocking the metallic, and the metallic's only coming through in the white areas. So it took me a while to get my head around this because I didn't really realize how to get it into this metallic area. And Jeanette knew how to do that. Of course, she's a genius. So I hope this helps and have fun trying this.